Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, and I'm here again with another game from my Atlantic League. Again, this is a league that uh, had a base of 1994 and then had certain franchise players drawn from other seasons onto each franchise, according to what franchise you were. So, as you can see, we have, um, we have for instance... Uh, Bill Melton, who uh, we have the 1970 Bill Melton, but this is the 1994 White Sox. So you get the idea. Um, I've played some other games, and uh, we, I, as you can see, we're three and seven in our last ten games. And in fact, let's look at the standings <coughs> so far. You can see we're tied for second place with Minnesota in the AL Central. We are 28 and 31. In the Atlantic League Central, we are 28 and 31 and nine games behind Cleveland. Cleveland is running away with this thing so far. Uh, in the other division, Seattle leads by a game over Oakland. And in the East, um, the Yankees uh, have a one and a half game lead over Baltimore. So today we are playing Minnesota, and hopefully we can beat them and move into second alone. So we will play the day. You can see we are at Minnesota. Um, we're going to have Dotson going up. Our lineup is going to be Tim Raines in left, Lance Johnson in center, Frank Thomas at first base, Julio Franco at DH, Darren Jackson in right, Robin Ventura at third, Mike Lavalier at catcher, Ozzie Guillen at short, and Joey Cora at second. For the uh, Twins, they will have Pat Mahomes pitching, the father of Patrick Mahomes, the quarterback of the Kansas City Chiefs. And their lineup will be Alex Cole in center field, Chuck Knobloch at second base, Shane Mack in left, Pat Mears at shortstop, uh, Kepler will be in right field, uh, Munoz is going to be the DH, Pedro Munoz. Uh, Scott Lass will be the third baseman, Kent Herbeck will be at first, and Roof will be the catcher, Phil Roof, and of course he is the 1970, he's the 1970 player for the uh, Twins, and um, we will get on with the game. So, uh, you see Pat Mahomes out there, and he's ready to deal to Tim Raines. And we are in the um, the Humphrey Dome. And that looks like that's going to be a single up the middle for Raines. And I will try to steal. We'll see if he can pull that one off. And 20 he dropped to 20%. We're not going to do that. So... Um, Ground ball by Lance Johnson to Laius. Let's see what happens. And it's a double play. And that brings up the big hurt, Frank Thomas. And he's going to walk. He'll get a board. But he's a rock on the bases. So we're going to need some big hits to get to score him. Franco is up. And Franco will line out. And so we are going to walk away from the first inning with no runs. And we'll go to the bottom of the first. And you can see we have Dotson out there on the mound. And he's going to deal to Alex, Cora and allow, or, uh, Alex Cole and allow a single. So Cole is aboard. Obviously, he's a good base stealer. Um, we're going to pitch to Chuck Knobloch. And, oh, he's going to get the full 95%. And he does make it. So Cole stole second base, and Knobloch is now up, and they try to do it again, but they're not going to be successful in getting a lead. Knobloch is going to hit the ball down to Thomas, and uh, that is an out, but it'll move the runner over to third. So Minnesota has a runner at third base with one down and Shane Mack up, and he is going to be out. Let's see if the run scores. No, it does not, and Pat Mears is now the batter. And he's going to hit the ball out to short. That's Guillen. Hopefully Guillen plays the ball. He is a good fielding shortstop, and he makes the play. 
So we are 0-0 going into the top of the second with Darren Jackson batting, and he's going to strike out. Ventura is up. Ventura Highway is going to pop out. And that'll be two down quickly as he pops out to Herbeck. And Mike Lavalier is up. And he is going to ground back to Mahomes. Let's see if he can make the play. He does. So we go quickly again in the second inning. And we're going back to the uh, bottom of the... Uh, Second inning, and that's going to be a fly ball for Max Kepler. Now, Max Kepler, of course, is a current day twin on the 1994 Twins. So that's he's one of the franchise players. Pedro Munoz is up with one out, and he is going to fly out to right field. Jackson will play that ball, and there's going to be two down very quickly. We go to the third. Or we go to the. Uh, with, uh, we go to Scott Leyes batting with two down. And he's going to ground ball out to Gian, who should make the play. And he does. So it's 0-0 zero, zero after two. We're going to the top of the third with Gian himself batting. And he's going to get a single. So Gian's aboard. Um, that brings up Cora. Let me see if I can try to bunt him over. I'm not a big fan. You know, I don't like bunting. But in, right here, we're going to try it. Two-base error for, by Phil Roof. Nice. So Phil Roof makes a two-base error. We've got runners at second and third with no outs and Tim Raines up. I like that. That's going to be a ground ball out to second base and knoblock. And... Uh, that scored the run, and Cora moved over to third. Got a man 90 feet away with only one out, and Lance Johnson up. And he is going to line out. So it's going to be up to the next batter to try to get the second run across, which I think we're probably going to need. And Thomas can't do it. He's going to line out to second base. Knobloch makes the play. We did get a run, but you got to feel with Dotson out there, that's not going to hold. Herbeck is going to hit a, a, a fly ball to Reigns, though, for the first out of the bottom of the third inning. And Phil Roof is up, the guy who gave us our runs. Thank you, Phil. And he is going to line out. Two down, and Alex Cole is up, and he's going to pop out to second. So Dotson is actually taking care of business here pretty well, uh, surprisingly so. We're going to the top of the fourth. And uh, and we're up one nothing with Franco up. Julio down by the schoolyard. Franco, he's going to hit the ball out to Knobloch, though Knobloch is a good fielder. And that is an out, and Darren Jackson is up. And he is going to hit a single. So he gets a board. Darren Jackson's aboard with Ventura at the plate, and he's going to walk. Only thing in the cut. Well, not really technically, but... It was the only sure thing in the column, and he got it. Lavalier is up, but he's going to strike out. So there's two on, two out, and that's going to set the table for who? Ozzie Gian. And we will let Ozzie Gian hit. We've got to keep him in the game because of his good glove anyway. So he's going to hit a fly ball to Cole, and that will be the inning right there. But we still got a one nothing lead. Remember, both us and the twins were 30, like something like 38 and 41, so both having a bad season. Uh, Knobloch is going to line out or ground out. It looked like a ground out, but it says line out on the card. Shane Mack is up with one down and he's going to strike out. These guys are hitting just around base hits and walks, um, but I'm loving it. Mears is up, and he is going to fly out to center. And uh, Dotson, having a, he's having a real good game here. We're going to the top of the fifth, still with a one nothing lead. Alex Cora is at the plate, and he is going to ground out to second base. And with one down... We've got, you can see the scores rolling in. With one down, you got Reigns up. And Reigns is going to hit a single. Didn't get the double. Could have had it, but he didn't. 
And I'm not even going to try to send him this time. Lance Johnson is up, and Lance Johnson's going to line out. So that is two down with Reigns at first base. And up comes Frankie Thomas. And Frank Thomas is going to hit a home run. Pat Mears gives up a homer to the big hurt. He puts a big hurt in on him, and we have a 3 nothing lead with Franco up. And Franco is going to strike out. Well, that gives a little bit of leash now for Dotson to get into some trouble. And he does get into some trouble immediately by giving Kepler a home run. And so the score is now 3-1 to one as uh, Kepler homers to right field way out of here. And that brings up Pedro Munoz. And Pedro Munoz is going to home run. And now it's 3-2. to two, And Dotson really is in kind of trouble now. He's only got a one-run lead as the first two guys the very next inning have homered. I'm going to try to keep him out there to see if he can get the win. Plus, I don't want to burn up the bullpen. Scott Leis is going to hit a fly ball to right, and that's much appreciated. There's one down. And up steps Kent Herbeck. And Kent Herbeck's going to walk. Man, Dotson is having a real bad inning here. Phil Roof is up. That might be a pass ball right there. Yeah, it is. And you cannot make this up. There's going to be a double by Phil Roof. He's shopping at the gap, and he's going to drive in the, the tying run. God. Unbelievable. I thought we were, dang. I mean, Dotson was cruising, was he not? Cole is the batter, and Cole is going to fly out. Right between two big hits, but he does fly out. That's the second out. So we got a, ourselves a tie game here in the bottom of the fifth inning. And Knobloch, the batter. And Knobloch gets a hit. They're getting all these low rolls, too. That's what's killing me. I'm going to try to throw for the lead runner, and it doesn't work. So they do take the lead. They have a 4-3 lead. And they get another base hit. And they might score on this. I am going to try to throw for the lead runner. I've got to. I'm going to do the cutoff. Let's see what happens there. No, nothing good happens there. It's st Now it's 5-3. And a ground ball is going to be hit to shortstop. And Guillen should make the play. And he does. But we're down 5-3 now in the bottom of the sixth, or the top of the sixth with Darren Jackson walking. So at least he got a board. Ventura is up. And they're going to bring in a relief pitcher. They're bringing in Carl Willis. And Carl Willis, there's going to be a catcher card X. Let's see if Roof can drop this. He can. So, um... The runner moves to second, and Ventura's up, and Ventura's going to move the guy over to third. This is all nice and good, but, you know, I mean, I guess it is. Lavalier is the batter, and Lavalier, see, he doesn't get that single one to six. That's going to be a pop-out to Knobloch for the second out. And that brings up Guillen. we got to let Guillen hit. You know we got to let Guillen hit. He's going to hit it out to Mears. Let's see if Mears cannot play the ball, but he did. So we didn't get any runs there, and I am going to take um, I'm going to take Dotson out of the game, and we're going to bring in Wilbur Wood. Wilbur Wood, of course, not on the 1994 White Sox. He was on the 1970 White Sox. And that's going to be an out. He gets the first guy out. Munoz is up, and he's going to strike out Munoz. So there's two out quickly. We're down by two. We're still in the game. And Leas is the batter, and Leas is going to walk. I think that's the first time he's gotten aboard today. Herbeck is up. And uh, Her Herbeck is going to ground out. So we do get out of that inning. And we're headed to the top of the seventh with Cora leading off. Not a bad hitter this particular year. He's going to ground out to second base. Willis is still out there on the mound for Minnesota. Tim Raines is up. And Tim Raines is going to fly out. So we are down to our third out for the seventh inning with nobody on. 
Lance Johnson up, and he is going to be out. So we don't get any runs. He flies out to right. And we're going to the bottom of the seventh. Phil Roof is the batter, and Phil Roof is going to hit a home run. Are you kidding me? Come on. Phil Roof is damaging us. I mean, he made a two-base error, and he also dropped a, he dropped a pitch and allowed runner go to second. But, man, the last two at-bats, he's been a killer. So it's 6-3, and now Cole is going to ground out. Knobloch is up, and Knobloch is going to fly out. And there's two down quickly with Shane Mack up. And Shane Mack is going to hit a double. Only so There's only so much Wilbur Wood can do here. Pat Mears is the batter, and he's going to strike out. So he gets us out of the uh, he gets us out of the second inning of work for him. Frank Thomas is up. We're down by three. We need base runners, so he is going to help in that regard. He gets a walk. Julio Franco is the batter, and he's going to single. So we've got we're going to have two guys on. Um, I'm going to hold the runner. Of course, he's not very good there. Uh, Darren Jackson's up. I'm going to let him hit. And he's going to hit the ball down to third base. That, that's Leas, though. Leas is a pretty good fielder. Not in time, though. So they didn't get the double play, but they did get an out. Now we have runners at the corners with one down and Ventura up. And it looks like that's going to be a wild pitcher. The ball gets past Roof. So it's 6-4, to four, and Ventura is now up. And they're going to bring in Mark Guthrie. Guthrie is coming in in relief for the Twins, and he's going to get Ventura to fly out. So there are two down with Jackson at second base. And Lavalier, the batter. And Lavalier is going to get a hit. Let's see if we can score a run on that. I think we probably can. I'm going to send the batter. And we did, and Guillen is up. So it's 6-5 now, and Guillen has walked. Guillen has walked, and Cora is the batter now. And are they going to take Guthrie out? They do take Guthrie out, and they're going to bring in Carlos Polito. Carlos Polito comes in, and we hit a ground ball to first with Cora. But we're now we're only down by a run, and Wood is pitching great. So we're going to keep him out there. Probably going to tire him out for at least the next game, maybe the next two, but we got a chance to win this one to come back, and so we have to take that chance. Kepler flies out to center, and Munoz is the batter, and Munoz is going to fly out to right field. Jackson will make that play. Deep fly ball, but still playable. And Leas is up, and Leas is going to fly out. So it comes down to this. We're going to the top of the ninth. We're down by a run. We're in this game big time. And uh, Carlos Polito is still out there. Tim Raines is the batter, and he's out. He's going to hit a ground ball to the shortstop. So there's one away quickly. And Lance Johnson up. Lance Johnson, though, is going to hit a triple. He's going to be 90 feet away. This is going to be huge. 90 feet away. Let's see what the Twins decide to do. Frank Thomas is up. You should have walked him. But you didn't, and he's going to single that run home, and now we have a tie game. So the game is tied with Julio down by the schoolyard. Franco up, and he's going to fly out. So that is uh, two down. And that will bring to the plate Darren Jackson. And Darren Jackson is going to hit a home run, and we're going to go ahead by two. Are, are we going to go? Yes, we're going to go ahead by two. We're up 8-6. 
And Ventura is up, and he is going to hit a single. We're just all over Polito. I don't know why they decided to keep Polito out there. They should have brought in their closer. I don't know if he is. And then he walks Lavalier. I mean, this guy has just fallen apart before everybody's eyes. And Guillen is the batter, and Guillen is going to foul out to third base. But we take a two to a two run lead, eight to six, and I am going to go in and get Bummer to pitch the ninth inning, which will start with Kent Herbeck. And now they bring in Kirby Puckett to pinch hit. And I don't know why he's a pinch hitter, but anyway, he's going to triple. So Kirby Puckett triples. That's what you get when you got the computer making these uh, lineups. Phil Roof is the batter, and Phil Roof will not get a base hit, but he might knock the run in. And he does. But we're still ahead 8-7 with one down and Cole at the plate, and Cole walks. Knoblock is up. If they decide to let Knoblock keep hitting. And he's going to hit a double. He might tie the game on this. This is crazy. This is a crazy, crazy game. He goes shopping at the gap. No, he doesn't tie the game, though. Mack is up. That's going to be a ground ball back to the pitcher. You would think he would hold him. And he does. And so now there's two down. He just has to get mirrors out and we're out of this. And he does. And so by the skin of his ass, Bummer gets us out of this inning and allows for us to win the game 8-7 and take sole possession of second place. So let's go to the box score. You can see Dotson pitched five. He gave up six hits and five earned runs. And uh, then Wood came in, pitched three great innings. He only allowed a run. And then Bummer came in and allowed one run, but still got the save. Mahomes went five. He gave up five hits and uh, two earned runs. And then their relief pitching was uh, not stellar, especially not Polito. But that is going to be it. And that's it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.